The rapid collapse of the Ottoman Empire gave the Arabs hope for independence. But the colonial powers saw their future differently. Great Britain and France agreed on the seizure of the Arab lands under the guise of the so-called Mandate of the League of Nations. This foul play caused particular indignation in Iraq, which was to get under the control of the British. In May 1920, unrest with claim for independence broke out. Both the Sunni and the Shia took part in it. Soon the rallies turned into a real uprising against the invaders. More than 130,000 people took up arms. Britain urgently began to transfer reinforcements to Iraq and used aircraft. British War Secretary Winston Churchill urged the use of chemical weapons against the rebels, and General Sir Aylmer Haldane ordered the destruction of any village where weapons were found. Burning a village properly takes a long time, an hour or more according to size, Haldane recalled cynically in his memoirs. The medieval cruelty paid off, the revolt was crushed. However, the British Empire had to make serious concessions. In 1921, it recognized Fasal I as the king of Iraq and gave part of the power to representatives of the local population. The Iraqi revolt marked the beginning of the national consolidation of the country and became an important milestone on the way to final independence.